Doc Dosa here bringing you a matchup between me and Let's Fight Chump. Saka Zulu, let's do it. Black Mamba. He's a 5'9, 75 inch reach. I'm a 6 foot with a 73 inch reach. Let's get it going, man. Let's get it popping. There it is, man. Hell yeah, this shit went through. We did it like, I think this is our fourth time trying to load the fight in, and for some reason our boxes just weren't loading, man. It was either one or the other, you know. Whoever loaded up first got to get in, but the other one which wasn't loading up, man. But finally we got it going. I'm anxious to see. I think I've seen this guy fight once. Fight's pretty good. Um, I think he lost. I'm not, I'm not too certain. So I don't exactly know what to expect from him. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of middleweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Black Mamba boy, this is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter who knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. <coughs> Reyes is making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. <coughs> Sorry about the camera movement. Just trying to make sure it's all right. <laughs> That's funny, the jungle. <laughs> this is cool. Representing the band camp. Let's do it. <coughs> we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the job. fighters, the atmosphere nice. of the arena when they know there's two guys moving up that can do it? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Solid uppercut. Reyes is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Reyes. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Trying to rick in some combos. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Right back to the midsection. Threw a lot of punches, wasted a little bit of too much stamina maybe, but I feel like I might have worn him down just a bit. Looking up at these corners, you can see the cuffman obviously 
getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great cut man? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. So you got to be calm enough to see the whole picture, the whole landscape, clean it off, put pressure on it, get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's going to get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Yeah, we both did the same move. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Solid counter punch by Black Mamba. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Wasting too much stamina. It's going to the body a lot, so... I don't want to get caught in that trap game. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. A classic one-two combo by Reyes. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand. Beautiful by him. Kind of locking him down, though. So. Final ten seconds of round number two. Back and forth they go. Each man getting the best of it. Kind of opening myself up a little bit too much, um, trying to just kind of hurt him, but I think I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I probably lost that round for being too, a little too aggressive. And round number three is underway. Oh, good-looking two-punch combination by Black Mamba. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Blocks a shot and then does nicely to work on his own. He's using his job well. But I'm able to counter it. Black Mamba's tagged by that power punch. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. with the uppercut, nice by him. Keep your hands up. Halfway through this round here. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. So he digs in with a left hand to the body and then places the right. Defense easily turns into I read that one right there when he jumped in. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Great work offensively landing that combination. By Black Mamba. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Good round, man. Good round. Uh, you gotta breathe. Breathe. Relax. How are you feeling out there? Uh, you're not winning. Reyes is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round but nothing really to pull away early on. 
do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Reyes. Targeting that belt line with the double jab. Right to the head with that right. Way through this round. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. Well off the mark by Reyes. I could feel him trying to catch my timing. That left hand over cool. the top, he's accurate with it. But he gives it right back. Look at that combination by Reyes. Black Mamba's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went into Teddy's head died, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. Good round, good round. Wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. like that, all right? You're doing good. Keep it up. Keep on it. Don't give him a chance to set his feet and get any punches off. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Reyes is not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Beautiful by him. Black Mama's showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Oof, nice. Fuck it, I'm up in the pressure. I came to bring the pain. that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. Oh, good exchange there. Trying to get him to burn his uh, energy out. Wearing his body down. Because he lost that last round just based on defensive laziness. Well, you can always make comparisons, analysis. You Stamins, that's how he's at 77. Got to keep it up here. Because they're not rebounding. They're not boxing out underneath the boards. Well, guess what? They weren't taught how to do that. You have to know how to do that. He's not going to start showing you defense if he doesn't know how. He does not know how. He has not been taught. Protecting his head well with his guard. Reyes is, is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Black Mamba's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy 
I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. And he returns on that exchange. Now he says, right back with the left hand. Good work defensively by Black Mamba. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he's jumping in, so I just timed the jump. Him out of him. Just timed his jumping. There's the old one two coming after him. Target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Fighting good this round, though. Well targeted, two punch combo really well. by Black Mamba. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Stamina is going down. Big time. I need to be careful now. Yeah, well, you wonder if his opponent gets insulted if you miss him. I mean, move your head. Good block by Black Mamba. How about that exchange? Reyes is doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there's a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. He's doing good at keeping me off of him. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Walks a shot Ooh. and then lands an uppercut of his own. Nice combination. Jab, uppercut to the head. I just stopped chasing him. Halfway through the seventh round. It's not benefiting you at all. Good shit by him. Good timing. Good round, good round. The opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up. So round eight at 66. Start of not round too number good. Eight. Look at Teddy's scorecard. Black Mamba's in poor position right here. He needs to find a way to overcome this. You know, Teddy, I'll say this. He has not pushed himself at all. The good news for him would be the gas tank is completely full. The bad news has been he hasn't shown us that he can do anything. He doesn't have that much uh, waist yeah, movement. Shaka Zulu probably needs to have a little, a little more uh, waist movement just to avoid the uppercuts. Because uh, he's leaving himself too susceptible for those uppercuts. Or he's leaning in too much. A solid one-two combo left-right by Reyes. Well, after being hit himself. Oof, I almost got caught. 
I'm gonna look to hit with my right uppercut. Halfway through round eight. There it is. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot by Reyes. Bolo shots. Black Mamas at his best. Oof. When the combinations are landing, he scored well there with that combo. He's killing that body though. He's it's hitting that. It was intended for his head. Good job with another left hand. Reyes' punch didn't come close. Back. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. The left hand scores. Left hook to the body. Right hand. Nicely done. Missed the body shot. Oh, I felt like I was hurting him, man, but wouldn't go down. Performance by Reyes. Dolan is doing it the way that judges like for it to be done. With clean and effective punching. Yeah, making that job a little easier. Gotta be careful. Stamina is running low. Oof. That's what I was scared of right there. Good shit, though. Good shit. Spent a lot of stamina. He got, he got that one good shot, man. Where, where, he, where he was... He found that opening, you know? That crease. Where I let go of my block. The pump block. Two, Good shit. Three. Come on. Reyes is up from the knockdown. But what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments. Just want to recover now. It's a good fight, man. Not able to land the headshot. Reyes is doing well here with that two punch combination. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power. And we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously. And it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing. And I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. Okay. Combo downstairs. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science. Not just is he gonna go down, man? Look at the little subtle scenes here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, Mind steps it, back, focus. makes a miss, and comes right back. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the Oh, oh shit! I gotta be careful this round. Fuck this. He, I, he got this round. He stole it from me. That's good. Being too cocky. That's what I get. He gets one more knockdown and I lose this fight. So all of a sudden, this fight's tied pretty much. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that. Get some ice they do this. I'm ready for and this round. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? He's going to be aggressive, so that's awesome. That's, that's, that's the best thing. Schedule for 10. Very accurate two-punch combo by Reyes.
Oof, good shit. Turn fire that time. And a smart counterpunch by Reyes. Reyes's combination punching is working well here. As you can see, he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. the last 10 seconds of this final round. Good fight. Good fight, fucking Shaka Zulu. You fucking gave me all I could handle, man. Good motherfucking shit, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, he gave me a scare right there in round round nine. I was uh, trying to finish him off, and uh, it just did not fucking work out for me. So uh, he stood back a little bit and just kind of, you know, won these rounds right here. Right here. Good motherfucking fight, Shaka Zulu. There it is, man. If you guys can see. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, not necessarily back and forth, but eight, nine, and ten. Good shit. Just like one, two, and three was. There it is, the punching stats. Let's take a closer look. I didn't even get I didn't even get to knock him down at all, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this, this guy's heavy with that with the right uppercut, man. He was uh giving me a, a taste of my own medicine. He threw more uppercuts than I did. Taste of my own motherfucking medicine. 150 to one and 199 right and left uppercuts. Good shit. I threw my hooks. I threw my jabs. I threw my jab a lot. He threw it more though. I threw my straight more. No. That's what it took, man. My counters were pretty good. His counters were even better. So what it is, guys. Look at that. I, I, he threw one more punch to me. Just, just by one more punch. But my percentages were better. There it is, fellas. Thanks for watching. Till next time. If you like, like, and you want to see more, subscribe. Peace out.